everybody, and welcome to Vlogos Day 11! Whoop whoop! Hi guys, how are you doing? Um, I, okay, it's already 1.30 in the afternoon. I know, I know. I had a bit of a late start today because I stayed up a little late last night, so I slept in a little bit this morning, but I got stuff done. My vlog's already edited, rendered, and uploaded and on the interwebs. Um, so now I actually need to leave here in just a couple minutes, um, but I have another dog sitting job that uh, starts on Tuesday. And today's Sunday, in case anybody's wondering what day of the week it is, because I know with Vlogmas it's confusing because you film one day and you upload the next day and blah blah blah. It's Sunday, uh, this dog sitting job starts on Tuesday, but I am getting ready to go over and meet the owner and the dog uh, at 2 o'clock, and so it's 1.30 now, so I really need to get going here in just a couple minutes. Um, but my, I'm on my way to do that. I thought I would let you guys know that um, I did try one of my birch box things this morning. Um, so I took a shower, but I didn't feel like washing my hair per the huge, um, cause I knew, I just, one, I didn't feel like doing it cause I don't really mind like washing my hair and I don't really mind styling my hair, but it's a drying my hair. That's such a pain in the ass. Um, so I just I was like not in the mood for it this morning. And also I didn't really have like a whole lot of time to like completely do my hair and all that. So I was like, whatever, I'm not going to wash it. But this gives me a good opportunity to use my new dry shampoo that I got in my birch box. It's by Death Valley. Um, I love this. And let me tell you why I love it. So, um, and you can tell my hair is up in a bun today. It kind of looks like a little bow. How cute is that? I did not intend to do that. But the reason I love that, and if any of you have dark hair, you will know what I mean. So a lot of dry shampoos, when you use them... It has this like white residue and you have to like really rub it in and sometimes you can't rub it in all the way and it makes you look like a grandma, makes you look like you got gray slash white hair. Um, it's really annoying and you have to like really rub it in and brush it and all of that. It's kind of a pain in the butt. This stuff does not leave a white residue. Now I have never found a dry shampoo that doesn't leave that white residue so I'm very impressed. Um, it works really well. My hair feels clean even though it's not. Um, so I'm super pleased with this. Um, if I ever, honestly, I love dry shampoo and the kind I've been using before, um, is the Tresemme Fresh Start dry shampoo and I, this is the stuff I like ran out of, um, and was really hoping to get a dry shampoo in my birch box and I did. Um, I like that stuff, but again, it leaves that white residue, so it's nice to find a dry shampoo that um, doesn't leave that. Makes my life a little bit easier, so honestly, once I run out of this, I'll probably get the full-size product. Um, I don't say that very often because, you know, a lot of it's just like trying stuff, and I'm like, oh, that's nice, but I'll probably never ever buy it. I live by dry shampoo because, as you girls know washing and drying and styling and all of that crap with your hair takes a lot of time and it's not good for you to wash your hair every day anyways but if you're like me and you have naturally oily hair that can kind of be a pain too so um dry shampoo is something that i legitimately use um on a weekly basis and finding a good one like this um that doesn't leave that white residue in my hair just makes life so much better so anyways that's my review on that product Highly recommend, 10 out of 10. I'm going to probably get. Um, so yeah, uh, the other Birch Box products I have, I'll review sometime this week and let you guys know what I think of those. But uh, anyways, so I'm gonna get my life together here real quick. Oh, I thought I'd show you. I had this on in my um, Thanksgiving vlog, if any of you saw this, but this is my Santa Behave sweatshirt, which I really like. Um, I got this at JCPenney's um, back in September when I went home to Ohio. They had a rack of these ugly Christmas sweatshirts. They were five bucks, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get one. I instantly regret not getting more. Um, honestly, I think, honestly, the problem, the reason I didn't get more is because I didn't have a whole lot of room left in my suitcase when I came back out, so, um... 
but I really wish I had gotten more because they had a ton more like ugly Christmas sweaters like this and I really wish I had more now but anyways yeah GC pennies five bucks you probably can't get them now because like I said I got them in September or I got this one in September so but I thought I'd show you that's that's what I've got on today feeling feeling festive but cozy so <sighs> okay now that I've just talked your ear off Let's go meet the puppy, which I won't vlog because that would be weird. But when I do go to dog sit this week, um, I'll show you guys the doggy. It's a puppy, um, so I have to do drop-in visits like every two hours, um, but it's only for a couple days. So, um, but it, but what is it? Um, let me find it real quick. Oh yes, his name is Duke. Look at him, so cute. And I think, yeah, it's an Australian Shepherd dog. Oh my God, how old is it? Two months, oh my Lord. I haven't, I haven't gotten to like be with a puppy in a long time, so I'm very excited. Anyways, I really need to get going now, so um, I'll see you later. Y'all, okay, listen up. I, so obviously I'm back home now. Um, I just got back from meeting with the owner and the puppy that I will be dog sitting um, this week. It's only for a couple days. I think it's uh, it's only Tuesday and Wednesday, I think. Um, he is going out of town for business. His girlfriend is coming over um, in the evenings and staying the night and taking care of the puppy then. So I'm only there from like 9 to 6. Um, sorry, I'm out of breath. God, I'm so out of shape. Every time I walk up our stairs, I'm like... Anyways, I hit the jackpot with this dog sitting gig. Let me tell you why. Two reasons. First, this puppy. Oh my god. Okay, so the puppy is 11 weeks old. He's only had him for two weeks. Cutest freaking puppy I have ever seen in my life. Just a little fluff ball. You guys will be getting plenty of footage of this puppy um, later this week because I'll pretty much kind of need to be there like from nine to six both the days um, just because like the dog needs to go out for a walk every couple hours and um, he kind of just wants somebody there to keep an eye on the puppy um, just because of puppy tendencies, you know. Um, try not to like get into everything and all of that. But, um, so, so you guys will be seeing plenty of this puppy in a couple of my vlogs because I'll be there watching him and oh my lord, he's so cute, so playful, just like came up to me and was like nibbling on my hand, just so cute. Second of all, and I, I texted Emily and I was like, dude, dude. So this guy and his girlfriend actually work in the wine industry. And I was like, oh, sweet, that's cool. I walk in, he's got hundreds of hundreds of bottles of wine. And I was like, woo, that's nice. And he's like, help yourself to any of this wine, like, you know, while I'm gone. And I was like, okay, you know, like, uh, probably, you know, I probably won't. He's like, no, I'm, I'm dead serious. And he, he hands me two bottles of wine here. Um, I've got, yeah, he hands me a bottle of Chardonnay and actually I think this is also Chardonnay, another bottle of Chardonnay. And he's like, yeah, help yourself to as much wine as you want. He's like, take bottles with you. I don't care. He's like, if I came back and this whole cabinet was empty, like that'd be fine with me. Like I don't need all this wine. I've got way too much wine. I get bottles of wine like every day at work. He's like, literally take as much wine as you want. And I was like, boy, don't tempt me cause you know I will. And I texted Emily. I was like, dude, we about to have wine for days. <laughs> so I kind of hit the jackpot with this one because one, I get to watch an adorable puppy and it's like a very low maintenance gig like I don't have to even worry about the feeding or anything because um, the dog is scheduled to eat before and after I get there um, so the girlfriend will be taking care of feeding the dog literally all I have to do is walk the dog and play with the puppy 
oh my lord what a good deal and then i just get like free bottles of wine like as much wine as i want basically so good day good meeting good job good dog job i've got coming up here um <laughs> Yeah, so I'm back home now. It is 2.30. That did not take long at all. Um, and the guy's place is not that far away from me, which is nice. Um, so I'm back home now. Uh, what am I gonna do today? Um, my only other thing I, like, have to do, um, I do need to stream tonight. Um, I'm planning on doing, like, an early evening stream because I need to be done with that at about 10.30 tonight because I need to go pick up Emily from the airport at 11.00. Um, so that's like, those are the two things I like really need to do today. But other than that, I don't know. Um, well, and like go meet the guy about the dog sitting thing, but I already did that. So what should I do to get, oh, I know what I do need to do is make another cup of coffee. So warm up Keurig. Ooh, I could probably clean this. Ew, look how dirty that is. Our apartment gets so dirty. Not, not like... I mean, like, we clean, sorry, it's probably pretty dark, isn't it? We clean, we pick up, like, our apartment is not messy, and it's not dirty, but it just gets dirty because of how dirty it is out here in L.A. Like, like, I, um, when I was decorating the door, like, our outside area is so dirty, and I came in and, like, walked on the carpet here. I don't know if you can see it. Let me turn on some lights, maybe and walked on the carpet and like you can see like where I've walked just like from the dirt on the bottom of my shoes like that's gross so like I mean we vacuum we mop we clean we wipe the counters we keep the dishes going we take the trash out we keep the bathroom clean we keep the whole place picked up like it's not that it's just like the area we live in is dirty and like that dirt gets into the house so easily it's so annoying um, anyways, why was I talking about dirty? Oh, because my Keurig's dirty. Anyways, I'm gonna make another cup of coffee. Because that sounds good. Because you can never have too much coffee. I'm so out of breath. Oh my god, these, these holidays are getting to me. Woo! Where the hell has this day gone? Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's 5 o'clock. Lord, how's it already five o'clock? Ugh, anyways. Um, so I think I'm getting a cold or something because I've just been feeling kind of, you know that like pre-sickness kind of like, ugh, I feel like I might be getting that. I'm not sure. I also, um, I, so my nose right here on my nose it feels like I got punched. Like, my bridge of my nose right here hurts. And I don't think my nose looks swollen. And there's no bruising or anything. But I, I like, texted my parents because I'm a hypochondriac. So the instant something's, like, wrong with me, I freak out. Um, they think it's my sinuses. Now, normally when I have, like, sinus issues, like, with a cold or something, it's normally, like, up in my head. But this time it's like in my nose, so, which is kind of a weird feeling. But I'm hoping they're right in the sense that it's just my sinuses and it's not something else. Um, but I am kind of starting to think it might be my sinuses because now it's like kind of moving up a little bit here. And I mean, it's like still so, it's just like sore to the touch. I don't know, it's very bizarre. But anyway, so I don't, I've just been feeling kind of like bleh today. Um... Anyways, but I am still planning on streaming because I do I do want to stream. Um, but I think, so I need to pick Emily up tonight, but I don't have to get her till 11. Um, so I think since it's 5 o'clock and I still have a few hours ahead of me, I'm going to have a little glass of wine. Don't drink and drive. I'm not drinking and driving. I've got six hours for it to wear off, so I'm fine. Always drink a lot of water afterwards, plus I'm going to eat dinner. Like, I'm fine. Um... I don't want anybody coming after me for drinking and driving because I'm not drinking and driving. I didn't go out and have like eight beers and then get in the car and drive. Like I'm having a small glass of wine six hours before I need to drive anywhere. So I'm fine. Anyways, but I do want to try that wine that that um, that the guy I'm dog sitting for gave me. So the wine that I stuck in the fridge to chill 
It's called Chalk Hill and it is a Chardonnay 2013. Oh, he's got something written on it. He like crossed it out. I don't know. Like I said, he works for a wine company, so I don't know. Um, but it's a Chardonnay. I love me a Chardonnay. So I'm going to have a little glass of that. Um, and then I'm going to eat dinner a little bit and then get going with streaming. I'm not sure what I'm going to stream tonight. Um, I'm not in the mood for anything hard or scary or like make me have to think. Um, I kind of just want to play a chill game and just like chill with everybody in the chat. Um, mostly because I'm just like not feeling 100%. And I, I don't want to start a new game because I'm getting ready to go home and like just a little over a week so I don't want to like start a new game and then not finish it and then come back in January and be like I don't know where I left off so I'll probably find something just chill to play tonight um and do that and then like I said I need to get Emily from the airport at 11 um so I'll take you guys with me so we can go pick up Emily and then um maybe when she gets home I do have a little gift under the tree for her. Oh, my tree's not on. Um, I do have a little gift right there. So maybe I'll have her open that on camera for you guys. Or we might save gifts. We were thinking of doing um, like a little gift giving thing next weekend before both of us leave. Um, even though we're both going to the same state. Um, it is kind of bizarre, like, both me and Emily living out here, we're both from Ohio, we're both, like, going home to Ohio for the holidays. Um, she, now I'm living two days before she is, um, and she's coming back a little bit earlier than I am because she has to be back, um, that Monday after New Year's to go to her nanny family. Um, but since my work life is so flexible and I get to choose when I work, basically, um, I will be home for a little bit longer. Ooh, my voice just cracked. I think I'm going through puberty. Um, but anyways, so, but it is, it is like funny that, you know, we both live out here and yet like we'll both be in Ohio, um, in a couple weeks. It's just interesting. Um, even though we won't like, like she'll be with her family, I'll be with mine. It's just funny. Um, so that's my evening sorted out. Sorry, it's been another one of those I haven't done anything interesting with my life days. Um, I really was just working most of the morning. Um, and I did sleep in a little bit later than I normally do because I was up later last night. Um, but so my morning slipped away from me and then I went and met with the guy about dog sitting but I didn't want to vlog that obviously because um, that would be weird. Although, like I said earlier, you guys will get be getting plenty of puppy footage, um, in a few days, but, and then I came back here and honestly, I've just been like, chilling on my computer. I almost said around, but then I realized I had to bleep it, but now I have to bleep it anyways. So, um, and then I was like, oh my God, it's five o'clock. So that's, that's my day. That's my day. It's been one of those days. I just really love my sweatshirt. It's my favorite. You all behave now. Cassandra's going to be here in two weeks. Two weeks from today. Two weeks from today's Christmas. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love Christmas. Yes, I do. I love Christmas. How about you? Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna have some wine. Bye. Okay, guys. I'm all set up to stream. Um, I'm playing Skyward Sword tonight. So I've got Skyward Sword up here. I've got OBS going. Say hi, OBS. Um, got my Twitch alerts over here. I got the chat down here. So we're ready to go. We about to get streaming, yo. Wow, I'm so cool. I'm so cool. Alright, let's just do this, because... I'm already being awkward. Hi, friends. <laughs> oh, I just ended my stream. It actually went really well. Um, it was like a good, solid stream, and I haven't, I haven't had one of those where I like ended the stream feeling good about it in a while. So, um, that was good. But I am slowly starting to get more like congest congested, and like just feeling it like my eyes hurt like I'm tired um so that's where I'm at right now um I am leaving here in a little bit to go get Emily um 
pick her up from the airport. Um, and then honestly, I'm probably going to come back here and just like wash my face and go to bed because I'm tired and I'm not feeling 100%. And I really don't want to be sick for Christmas. I really don't want to be sick for the flight home. I'm hoping if I get a cold, I'm hoping that it, it hits like tomorrow morning and just get it over with. Just like ride it out this week and then this time next week, hopefully be okay. Um, that way I don't have to deal with being sick on the plane. I don't want to like drag out this pre-sickness crap. Um, and then like I leave on the 20th and like the morning of the 20th I wake up and I'm like, Bleh! but I think... I'm going to. I have my little like travel emergency kit here, which if you watched my what's in my bag travel edition video, <laughs> oh my god, um, you'll see that I included this in here. But I have a little like travel emergency bag here and in it I keep stuff for um, if I like need band-aids, um, thermometer, cough drops, blah, 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 blah. Um, I think though, um, so I was saying in the video how I always like to drink this in orange juice, um, like before I get on a plane to kind of knock out any, um, like germy sickness that may happen on a plane because planes are disgusting and, germs breed on planes so i honestly so i think i'm since i'm in that like pre-sickness phase right now um i think i'm gonna have one of these emergencies and i don't think we have any orange juice which makes me sad um so i might just do it with water do we have oj i don't you know we don't have orange juice no we do not oh uh, well that's all right i think yeah, I'll just have this with water, but um, basically you just mix a packet of this with an eight, eight ounce glass of water, um, and it should, there's so much vitamin C in it, it should knock out whatever, um, I mean, if I am going to get sick, I hope I get it tomorrow. Best case scenario is I avoid all of this and I don't get sick at all, so um, I'm going to go ahead and make my little drinky drink here and hope and pray that I don't get the plague because I don't want that. Because who wants to be sick on Christmas? You know what I'm saying? Like nobody wants to be sick on Christmas. You want to be happy and cheerful and feeling good and all that fun stuff. Not laying on the couch with the crud. knock everything out of the fridge and we'll just give this a little stirry stir 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 your emergency mmm doesn't this look so appetizing mmm honestly it's really good with orange juice it's not like awesome with water but you know this is all I have plus you get the extra vitamins and all of that from the orange juice so that's usually my pre-sickness cocktail but I don't have any orange juice I should go to the store tomorrow morning need more eggs too I like how I'm just like blabbing things that are coming out of my head right now to the camera so you all can listen to my life Okay, well, I'm going to end this 10 minute long stirring session here. Uh, I'll check back with you later. Or honestly, next time I vlog will probably be on my way to go get Emily or when I'm actually at the airport to get Emily. Oh my lord, this is, this is a mess of a vlog.